guys, welcome back to my channel. I am on today making the cover for my October daily. I really don't have a solid plan right now. All I know is I want it to be two pieces, a front and a back. Um, I did decide I'm going to cinch the album together. Um, so I just have this piece of a back of a uh, 12 by 12 album. So it's just a little bit sturdier chipboard. It's not like super thick or anything. Um, I'm gonna cut this in half so it's six by six. Um, all of the measurements for my pages, the maximum height that I did was eight inches high. So it's about five and a half by eight. The half of the five and a half is for the um, binding. So it's really five by eight, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm gonna start with this at six and I'll cut it down when I'm finished putting it together just to see how much I actually need, if I want that extra half inch on it or not. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and cut this down to eight. And um, then I'm gonna decide what papers I wanna cover it with. All right, so this is six by eight here. I did pull some six by eight pieces out. Um, I thought this one would be pretty maybe for a cover or for the inside of a cover. Um, this is one of my favorites. This, this one is one of my favorites. Um, and then these I just thought could be inside pieces. So I just have to decide like what I wanna use for a cover. Let me go ahead and get these attached, though. Um, maybe I'll do these two for inside, and then I'll figure out the back. Okay, so let me just trim these out here. All right, then I think I'm just going to go ahead and adhere them on with my ATG. And then we'll figure out the front. If I knew how I wanted to decorate it, it probably would help a little bit because, you know, one's a little bit more, you know, you can layer on top of this. This one, you kind of only have the top to do, which is fine, I guess, because I don't want to do a, to a ton on the front. Um, you know, if I'm going to be sliding it in and out of shelves, I don't want a ton of layering there. So that's something to think about too. All right, I'm just going to do a adhesive square, getting all my edges. Just go one down the middle. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the back inside cover. This is gonna be the front inside cover. to the end of my my um, adhesive, so it's getting very loose. But I do wanna use it all up. All right, so it's gonna be like this. So now I have to do the front and the back. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the front and I'll go ahead and use this one on the back just because I do. It's one of my favorites, I love it. So I'll do the... Eight inches there and then let me just trim this one off to six inches all right now we're gonna see if 
I have enough tape to finish this. I don't think I do. It's going to run out right now. Yep. All right. That is fine. I've got my little other tape runner here. And then I'll go ahead and change that when I'm finished with this project. Um, there's that and this does need to be trimmed down a little bit and then I'm probably going to go ahead and ink the edges around there too just so it um, looks finished Actually, I think I'm going to do it like this. So both my holographic and black are on the outside. All right. I'm going to go ahead and trim off just that little white that's showing on each side there. a little bit of white that's also showing there. All right, let's see if six inches wide is gonna be too wide or if that is what I'm gonna want. Let me just grab a couple pages here. Just have a couple interactive ones. So that one will be there. That one is gonna be right to the edge. This one's gonna be in. No, I think six inches is good. So if you see like this page right here, this is the edge that's gonna go in the cinch, and I can make that smaller if I want to, but that brings it right to six inches. So I think we're gonna keep that as it is. All right, I'm gonna wait till the very end to probably do any decorating just because I'm not really sure what I wanna do, but I'm gonna pull this out for the very first time. I've never used it before, and um, I'm gonna figure out how to do this. So it looks like it's just the machine in here and the instructions. And I have coils. So let me pull a coil. Pink and black. Gold. And white. So I'm probably going to do this black. Pull that out. So let's just take a look at the quick guide. So you're going to punch the holes in. The ring goes on the side here to insert it. And then back here to cinch it together. This little piece is in the side here. You're going to pull that out. If it is a solid number on the inch, that you're binding, you're gonna put it in this first slot. So mine is eight inches long, so I'm gonna put it on the solid, on the, the whole inch. Then the B spot, 
is going to be a quarter. The C spot is going to be a half. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the A spot. And you're going to align your paper to the guide like this. So I have both of my pages here facing the right direction. I'm going to put it in there. Okay, there's one more piece that I'm looking for. Okay, that's this piece. All right. So we're going to go ahead and punch down. Okay. Now we're going to take this out. And this little piece right here, you're going to put your holes through there. Let me hold it up. So there's this piece on the side right here and a hole in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hole in there. So I'm going to line that up in there and it's going to be the last one you made. So that's, those are the punches I made. So now I'm going to put that last punch in that hole and then I'm going to push this down and it's going to hold that in place. So now that's in place. Now it's lined up to punch again. Okay. I'll pull my alignment up or my line up. Okay, so I need a hole right here. So what you're gonna wanna do with that piece is it's not gonna go in the last hole you punched, it's gonna go in the second to the last hole you punched. So I'm gonna have to put it down in the right spot and then repunch. So it should basically only punch the one I missed. All right. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to want to put it in this one, not in this one. So this second one. Okay, I'm going to push that down, push it in. Okay. All right, there is my guide. Guys, that didn't seem too hard. So... I've been very intimidated to use this, but once trying it once, I'm I'm feeling confident. All right, so now if I'm going to start over with some of my pages, I'm going to put that back in the the um, A spot, and I'm going to start from the bottom. So, um, do that. Now I'm going to line this up correctly this time and get it in that spot. And we're going to get it in that spot. Okay. There are the holes. All right, I'm gonna finish punching these guys and then we'll come back and we will cinch it together. I'm back. All of my pages are punched and I'm going to get ready to put them in here. So you're going to place your wire okay, like this. Okay, so there's the single side and then there's this double side. And we're going to put it on the single side and it's going to rest right in there. All right, then, so looking at the directions as I do this, I'm going to start from 
the back and I'm just gonna put these on. So you can see, this is the bottom, this is the top. I'm gonna trim it right here when I'm done, but I'm gonna get everything on first. Then I can just decide where I'm gonna put everything. off here now. <laughs> Probably need a bigger binding, but we're going to make this work. All right. So I've got everything on here like this. I'm going to go to the back. All right. So what I did is I twisted these all kind of halfway up. So they look like that. And I'm going to try and put it in and see if that is what I need to do. Okay. Seems to work. Okay, so I've got them closed like that. That looks good. All right, and then the final step is trimming. Like I said, I'm gonna trim this one here, I think, right there. Um, I'm just gonna get like a jewelry snippers out here. All right, that's it. I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna add a few finishing touches on it, guys, and then um, I'm gonna come back and I will do a walkthrough with you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.